Uh, hello everyone, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to design a shear connection. So the uh, in idea statical, the shear connection we uh, consider there is a loss of shear connection which we uh, can uh, perform in idea statica such as pore line connection or as any sort of uh, element but specifically we will consider the beam column shear connection so we go to the uh, idea statica in the project and uh, we search class and geometry and design we can select shear and give a name it's called uh, shear shear connection and uh, using this uh, uh, American code create uh, here is the uh, model so uh, first of all let me see is one we have one member column and this is beam uh, and this is the loading so why we call uh, shear connection because uh, this kind of connection cannot uh, bear the moment maybe it can a late later but it's not a moment resisting structure so usually in practical we have so much uh, such kind of connection now in the uh, uh, this connected is using with a t section is going to selecting this this one this one and going to the uh, that's called clit and you can see this is a t section I'm going to edit here is so the thickness is 17 and the height is about 100 uh, so without any change I want to uh, design this uh, connection applying this force so now I'm going to calculate the calculation is completed and we want to see the result so this is the result and it's totally uh, with a gray color so that means the uh, the connection is quite uh, not economical and you can see we couldn't use uh, larger the plate so this plate is very large the first thing is I want to change this plate uh, let's go to back again and here and we go to the edit here and we used the height is 100 and 12 by 15 if I go to back here and he's exactly here so what I want to do is I want to uh, use a little smaller one uh, let's see uh, this 12 is uh, the height is 100 and I can use uh, a little larger one but instead the, uh, the flange and whip thickness should be smaller Let's use this 10. This is you see it's uh, the same but 30 millimeter, and this also uh, from uh, 17 we brought to 13 4 millimeter, and it's uh, smaller. If I go to select one more, uh, let's see 18 is the 18 is uh, 11, and this is better. And I'm going to OK. Now you can see it's some changes made here. Some changes made and one more thing is uh, I'm going to uh, uh, change the uh, size of, of the, that clip so we want to that clip should cut a little larger and it should be about uh, about 180 this is 180 so we cut it a little larger and the next thing is, uh, I want to uh, uh, reduce or make smaller the size of these uh, bolts. So here is the bolt, and I want to use the 1 over 2, the same material. So this one, and selecting this, also using as here now uh, we change these two parameter just as the just the, the clipped area the clipped area and the nut bolt so now we want to run again
now so it's called bolt or two close together uh, because uh, this bolt is actually uh, said it's very close together it means uh, here is the space is very uh, high so we want to change that one to have a little uh, uh, deeper uh, deeper uh, I this one should be a little larger so I'm going to go back to here to uh, select another one uh, even uh, we can uh, go back to bring this uh, bolt a little closer and here is the first bolt this uh, bolt it's not 40 and I want to using 30 and this is also 30 Uh, this is the longitudinal this is okay the if I go to uh, control Z and it will work again but uh, in here I want to make it uh, 30 millimeter space uh, between the uh, this direction now you can see it's uh, correct and we want to recheck it again by calculation uh, that was the reason which uh, the analysis is not completed uh, because it was seems very close to this uh, location uh, now uh, the analysis completed 100% and the plate and the bolt everything is used uh, properly and the cost is reduced to $50 so this is uh, acceptable uh, now uh, in case if it didn't one problem is here actually uh, so this is not right so because uh, the bolt is very close together but the result is okay I want to change that one as well uh, now uh, what I want to do is just go to back to this uh, and instead of this one I want to change this one should be a little larger uh, and that 833 and I can select and that at least this one it's also a smaller one and we're gonna go to 12 and 12 25 uh, this is also uh, good and let me check one more this is 10 20 if I use 35 that's very this is very good okay, okay now we have a large area because we not build this dead area and it's be very, very good now what, what I want to do is I want to just change this spacing and to back to uh, 40 and now it seems better in case if I want to make it uh, this in a positive direction that can be uh, 45 uh, and this also can be 45 now we have a lot of spacing space this one is not and I'm going to back to this one should be uh, 40 and this one should be 50 Sorry. and this one should be uh, Mm, 30 that should be 50 no that uh, this be 50, 40 uh, 30 now it's better now the change is uh, not too much and I'm going to make this one 35 that one and this one should be make 40 uh, it's better to make 45 so a little this is okay now we can uh, or uh, that uh, uh, 
uh, 40 is okay that 40 is okay and there is no uh, interaction together but still is there that uh, 45 okay and the problem is uh, it should be center to center uh, I go to back here to this element and I want uh, that transfer in both, both direction this area is large and this area is small uh, if I go to this direction uh, we can see uh, so some uh, because uh, the uh, web is in this direction so this will be a little less so in case uh, we should create uh, uh, another build T section that will be more uh, uh, proper. Now we can go to calculate again. Now it cost uh, ninety dollar, and the result is uh, quite acceptable. So we can see uh, everything is properly designed. We can go to check and see some uh, uh, such as the the bull force and. This is the pull force. One is in tension, one is in the compression, and also equal in stress behavior. So this is it. Okay, now this is the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, you can put it in the comment, and I will find time to answer you. And then you can create a report here. See you next time.